we are going to do the following things in this baby's home. Number one, we are going to reconnect mothers with their babies. A mother may have thrown away her baby because of the various circumstances, but after we realize that the real mother lives and she wants to live with this baby, we test the DNA and then we give this baby back to the mother for free. And then the second objective is uh, local adoptions. We have many people, for some reason, who have not had children in Uganda here, and they want to have a baby. They may come, they can come to the baby's home, and then through the courts of law, the judges, they can get this baby. Then the third thing we are going to do with this baby's home is international adoptions. People out there who may be looking for babies through a credible organization like Hands of Love Foundation, we recommend this baby's home to you. You will come and we will help you to get a baby. It is easier because we don't look at children as a transaction. You come, you connect with us, and you will have a baby to adopt. And then all the children who will not have gone, been taken away through these three means, they will be taken to hands of love, to have love, to have education, to have discipline, to be discipled into responsible men and women who will cause transformation. So thank you very much, everyone who has made this possible for us. God bless you. You are most welcome to Uganda to serve with us. Together, we can make all the difference. Hello, everyone. My name is God Love. I'm the executive assistant to the Director Hands of Love Foundation. And I'm standing at the gate of Mother Esther Baby's home. I would love to take you around. Uh, here we have our security house and we have a security officer very ready to check everyone who comes inside very ready to make sure that everybody is secure and all our babies are very secure we have ample parking space everything is just ready we thank everyone so let me take you around the place is just ready for the babies to come in. Yes, I would love to take you inside the rooms for where we have prepared our babies to be. Every unit has a very good store. You can take it out where everything will be kept concerning the babies in each unit. And now we go inside the unit. Every unit will have a living room. You can get inside. There is enough space for the babies, for the five babies in each unit. A place is tiled. Yes, and then we have a bedroom inside here. They have a bedroom for the mother and the babies and then they have flushing toilets yes, flushing toilets and showers thank you everyone let me take you around and then you This side, as you can see, we have five units. And each unit is well built, as you can see, the living room, the flushing toilets, and then the bedroom for the babies. The mother and the five babies in each unit. Just in case we run out of running water there's a facility that is ready to take care of everything we have toilets here we call them pit latrines they will be used 
they'll be used just in case we run out of water. We have the toilet and then the bathroom. facility, everything you can see here, has been made possible by the following people. The first one was a donation from Mother Eseza Najuka, the mother of Bishop Elijah Sebchu, who handed over her inheritance from her father so that she can leave a legacy for the babies in Uganda. And secondly, we thank our, our special partners, Tomoka Christian Church. Ormond Beach, Florida, USA, for the donation that they gave us. We thank our partners, KICC, for the offerings. That is Kampala International Christian Center, our main church for the ministry. We thank you all. Thank you very much for being good people. Thank you for loving children. Thank you for loving Uganda. God bless you so much. Thank you, everyone. Together we can make all the difference.